after our episode last uh, on Tuesday, um, we had a bunch of um, fans ask us about certain trade targets. Um, and I think a big thing was uh, a lot of people were talking about our perimeter defense. So I think that might be something that people are looking at as far as, as we go into the trade deadline season, um, think of some targets. Um, these are guys whose names have been thrown around. Some of these guys we, we've been talking about maybe going last year, we talked about some of these, uh, these targets, uh, yeah. but I wanted to ask you, these are the five names that came up um, that I wanted you guys, to ask you guys about um, as far as what you think we need and what you think realistically could we go for these guys. So um, the names were at the, at the bottom of the screen. You can see PJ Washington, Jared Vanderbilt, Terrence Ross, Jay Crowder, and Garrison Matthews. Of these names, which is one guy that stands out to you based on what you're seeing we need right now uh, on this team? There were two more I saw added recently, Kenyon Martin Jr. and Jalen McDaniels, but <laughs> I think one of these guys might be ahead of them anyway, but just throw it out there. Um, only Jay. If you really? if I pick one. Okay. Because, I mean, how many times are you going to play for teams that went to the finals? We're trying to win the championship, right? Yeah. Right? That's the plan, yeah. right? Okay. Yeah. I, lo- I like the rest of those guys, but they're younger. Some of them are younger, especially PJ and Jared. I mean, they're my sons played with those, played with those guys. So, I – they they young. They trying to get contracts and mm-hmm. trying to get deals to come and have them fit into a role. They, they don't really like. I like PJ, but PJ can actually help us. I I think he can help us a lot. Um, yeah, but that's pulling from Tobias. Like you can't play them both together. Mm-hmm. To me, I don't think you can. Where I think Jay is a proven guy. That if you want to go small, you want to play bigger. You can make him over shot and he tough. Um. And, and I'm looking at this not as a long-term thing or a potential deal after this. I'm saying plug and play right now. Yeah. Jay Crowder. Yeah. I looked at our main weaknesses um, lately. Uh, rebounding. We're 23rd defensive re- rebounding overall, 27th offensive rebounding, and 28th total rebounding. Um Perimeter defense um, and our bench is hurting again. Uh, I I like Vanderbilt. Um, I think he's 14th in offensive rebounding, 21st overall in total rebounds per 36. Um, I just don't – I think it's just going to be hard with, with, with Tobias um, and even P.J. at four – playing sometimes I, 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 just, I don't see him getting enough playing time and yeah, well, he, that's not going to fly with him. Cause he, like you said, he, he's going to be going for his first decent sized contract. And if he comes here, he's going to be playing less than he's playing in Utah. So that's not going to go re- very well. Um, PJ, I see the same type of thing. I think PJ can help too. Cause no. P, PJ can rebound too. And he can, he can score. He's been scoring a lot for them lately too. Um, he'd be a great addition for certain lines at three, mostly back up four and, go- and scoring from our bench. Um, but yeah, if we're going for plug and play, I would say Jay Crowder as well. But it's ironic. You said these guys are going for contracts. Isn't that kind of what Jay Crowder's playing, uh, starting in money? Isn't that what, isn't that why he's kind of holding out right now in, in, to a degree? Yeah, because he didn't give him an extension. But um, – yeah. But Jay has a market, and he oh yeah he's already established that. So uh-huh. um, Terrence Ross was probably be my second guy because he's a guy that can play a three and he can get hot. <clears throat> um, so you can have those games where you can stretch the court and spread the court. Um, and he's a guy that's you know I, I think he's capable of defending and rebounding and being active, mm-hmm. uh, and I think he's probably at that stage of his career where like, hey, I got a chance to win. Yeah. Um, so yeah. I would probably say he's second. Because I just think with P.J. and Jared, I think that they, especially P.J., if P.J.'s coming and he's going to be a starter, um, yeah, I mean, but you're going to have him come and be a backup to Joel and backup forward. Like, I, I just don't know how we would use him. 
Another reason I want – what I'm looking for too, I'm sorry, I forgot this earlier, uh, guys that can guard Tatum or Brown. <laughs> Just a guy that we can put on them and, and – Ray Crowder know. and Terrence Ross. Yeah, no, yeah. I, I, Jared I, Vanderbilt can guard them too. Crowder. So, uh, uh, Jared uh, Vanderbilt is probably the better defender out of the, the five. PJ can guard them. I think he, he is all right against them. I also think um, – uh, PJ, I wouldn't – I'll put PJ on Brown. I wouldn't put him on Tatum. Yeah, I think that'd be a better matchup for him. I think Kenyon Martin Jr. either. If you're going really cheap, you're going for just a bench piece. That's another guy you can stick on him too, and he does do some dirt, dirty dirty. Yeah, I mean, happen. to to a certain extent, I'm looking at this and I'm saying I'm looking at this list is like, um, if we get Jared Vanderbilt, like you you in some ways you have a similar guy in your guy. <laughs> Which my guy? Oh, you're, you're, you know, you're you're, you're, you're a guy. you know who your guy is. You, you know. know, you know. <laughs> you just wanted to make one three a game. <laughs> you're comparing Vanderbilt to one three a game. Are you talking? About, are you talking about PJ Tucker? No, what? Oh. Tease, what? dude. I, I had the same rule for Brian. No, Tease was thirty six percent. Tucker was one three a game, I think. <laughs> no, they're talking about preseason, man. Oh, oh okay, okay, okay. <laughs> uh, Vanderbilt's a little, a little taller than them, right? Vanderbilt's more like a four version of that. Vanderbilt's really like a three. Is he? I mean, he, I, my son played against yeah. him and played with PJ when they were younger, so I, I've seen him. He was like a three. Yeah, he's more of a three. Six A. He's pretty big. All right, yeah, all right. The way he's he plays, like, he's playing three more than you know. I mean, yeah, I think I think Vanderbilt would solidify our rebounding. I think we get him. We're if we're bottom and rebounding. There's a problem at that point. I think that's if you if you if, you, if they see them at rebounding as a major, major, major issue, target Vanderbilt. That, that, that that's what you should do. If that's if that's the main thing here. Um, it, it sucks we can't. You know, someone proposed. Um, one of our uh, listeners, Liam Carson. He he's a, he's a big fan. He posted Paul Reed, Thibel, and a 23 second for Vanderbilt. Would you do that? All three guys from Vanderbilt? I wouldn't. Paul Reed, Thibel, and a 20-23 second. No. Vanderbilt. Um, they would have to add something else in there. Yeah, I think I so. Think if you're trying to open up a salary, like a, a, a roster spot, I understand it. If you're able to, all of a sudden, Jay Crowder becomes available free agency-wise. Like I think you do that to get a, another roster spot. But just to make the move um, – <clears throat> That might be that might be giving up a little too much, mm-hmm. um, unless you have something that's coming with it or going into that spot. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're giving up two guys that could potentially one injury away from being in your rotation. Yep. Who I don't I don't think Vanderbilt's light years ahead of those guys. So it's like no, I know. I just I mean he may be a better fit, and I I do see that. I see see why you would do it as far as him being a better fit. I just think from a, a standpoint of roster spots and depth, you may need to address something else with that. Yeah. And PJ, PJ's contract's really reasonable too. He makes five million. So that that's a that's a plus and and what we'd have to give up to get him as far as money goes. Um but, three way deal, get uh Eric Gordon from Houston in that in that deal. Yeah, right. <laughs> we, still on, we still on Eric Gordon. <laughs> <laughs> It's still a, he still pops up in dreams now and again in the background. Now the, there's a, there's a big contingency of the the new Sixers fans, the Harden stands um, that they they'll, they'll post like pictures of uh, Eric Gordon, like uh, he's coming, like and they'll, they'll put a picture of Eric Gordon wearing a Sixers jersey. He's like, that's funny. Funny. That's funny. <laughs> now um, we have to shed a lot more salary than that to do that. Yeah. <laughs> 